Food is the basic necessity of life, as no one can survive without it. We acquire food from many different sources and enjoy it. The food at famous restaurants and fast food chains is mostly delicious and somewhat healthy, but this is not the case all the time. Particularly if you haven't witnessed it being prepared, who knows what might be in there? In certain cases, storage conditions like infestations in grocery stores make food unhygienic and hazardous to health. It happens mostly when we're not observant. Let's have a look at some of the craziest things that happened to our food when we weren't looking. Warning: some of these will make you feel like throwing up, so make sure you've got a bucket by your side. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Bees in your donuts. Who would have thought that these tiny cakes made of glutinous rice seasoned with sugar may have actual bees in them? These are quite popular among Asian consumers, especially in China and Japan. Moki looks like a gooey elastic dough that's later cut up into smaller pieces and sold on the streets for quite a low price. But because the stalls making and selling these are usually situated on the streets, the strong smell of sugar attracts hundreds of honey bees to the dough that swarm all around it. And how many of those can the maker actually swat away, right? So there's a good chance some of these will end up being a part of the moki with a rolling pin. Therefore, it's no surprise your sugar-filled moki also has a bunch of bees in it, and if you're unfortunate, its venomous stinger might prick you and leave you with a sore and swollen mouth. Chinese street food. All over the globe, street food is considered to be cheap, delicious, and flavoursome. However, a San Francisco Chinese restaurant known as Lucky River Restaurant probably gave it literal meaning, as in 2014 its staff was found beating their meat on the sidewalk. On scrutiny, they just pretended to tenderize the meat. Complainants reported that the street was filled with cigarette butts, gum, and general grime. Other health regulation violations were also highlighted. Soon, the restaurant was under scrutiny, and perhaps they failed to comply with the code of conduct, and resultantly, it was perhaps closed permanently. Savage soda. We all know soda isn't the healthiest option, but did you know that too much sugar in sweetened beverages can harm our bodies and make us look older? Too much soda, according to a recent study, can alter the telomeres, which are parts of our chromosomes linked to aging. Drinking a daily 20-ounce serving of soda for three years resulted in changes comparable to turning 4.6 years older. Over time, these changes weaken the skin and increase the risk of death. Diet drinks, unfortunately, aren't much better. Although they are lower in calories, they are high in artificial sweeteners, which can cause you to gain weight. When we taste artificial sweeteners, our brain assumes we've consumed sugar and anticipates an influx of calories. However, when those calories don't arrive, we're left craving the calories our brains were anticipating, increasing our chances of overeating later in the day. With dangers on both sides of the fence, it's probably best to stay away from fizzy drinks altogether. Burger King Creepers In 2018, a Burger King franchise invited public rage when a video highlighted a rat-infested kitchen. The grim clip was captured by Chantel Johnson, an old employee of the store. During the inspection, the team found numerous rats and insects in burger buns, dry storage and ice machines. The video went viral, which forced the fast food chain to take immediate measures. The restaurant was closed for the next three days and ensured that everything was maintained to the highest standards. Unpasteurized milk Raw milk may not be prohibited at a federal level, but many states, including California and New York, have outlawed its sale. Unpasteurized milk is an important part of the diet in quite a few cultures, especially in Europe, but the US has a different stance on the matter. It's important to know that raw milk is perfectly healthy and safe as long as the standard regulations are followed and hygiene is practiced. It's also less likely to cause sickness in humans than mass-produced pasteurized milk. In the past, the urban migrations led to an increased demand for raw milk in the cities, but since it was supplied without much adherence to the safety standards, it resulted in causing increased sickness and therefore pasteurized milk became the new normal. There is, however, a way around the law, but it's not very feasible, as you'd have to buy your own cow and milk it daily, not to mention the problem of keeping a cow in your 20th floor apartment. Redfish Redfish gained fame when the New Orleans celebrity chef Paul Prudhomme introduced the Americans to many dishes incorporating red and blackfish in the 1980s. A craze developed for eating this fish over time, but it ended up causing the near depletion of the entire species in the US waters. To prevent the human appetite from utterly wiping out the fish, 
The U.S. Commerce Department decided to put its foot down and force redfish fisheries to close their doors in 1986. From 1980 to 1986, the limit of redfish taken from the waters skyrocketed from 2.7 million pounds to 8.9 million pounds. Therefore, since 1986, the U.S. has made all commercial fishing of redfish illegal. You can, however, get hold of the farmed redfish in case you're craving one of those scrumptious redfish dishes. Hot dogs Processed meats, as you may know, raise your risk of cancer, but that isn't the only reason you should kick your hot dog habit. Because these sausage-shaped treats are a significant cause of choking in children under the age of 14, they should be offered with utmost caution. When you think about it, hot dogs are squishy, slippery, and just the right size to obstruct an airway. Indeed, the American Academy of Pediatrics is so worried about the danger that it urged manufacturers to change the distinctive hot dog form in 2010. However, until that time comes, finally slice hot dogs before feeding them to youngsters or yourself if you can't be trusted to chew. Do you have a new hot dog form in mind? Let us know in the comments below. Haggis we have Scotland's national dish, but unfortunately for many Americans who take pride in their Scottish lineage, this dish has been banned in the US. Now its name might not be as appealing as the taste. Haggis can be classified as a savoury kind of pudding, constituted mainly of sheep, heart, lung and liver. These are then mixed with oats, stock, onion and suet. If this wasn't enough to make you reconsider eating this dish, let's tell you that the dish is served in the stomach of a sheep. Crazy, right? Japanese puffer fish. The pufferfish isn't much of a looker, with its appearance being a tad bit ridiculous. But don't be deceived by its bloated face and spiny body, because this fish has a lot to offer. The Japanese pufferfish is extremely venomous. There's an organ in its body that produces a neurotoxin, which finds its way inside the human body and can induce muscle paralysis and even death. You'll be amazed to know that despite the toxicity, the Japanese love to eat it. It takes an excessively skilled chef to remove the poisonous organ safely and ensure the non-toxic meat is free of any hint of venom. This is necessary because in the past many mistakes have happened and dozens of Japanese people have died from the consumption of the pufferfish poison. This is why restrictions were tightened in Japan, but in the United States, people chose not to even take the risk with fugu and its consumption was completely banned due to the toxicity. There are a few licensed practitioners who've been permitted to prepare and serve fugu in the US. Another issue with this fish is the family members of the Japanese puffer inhabit the waters of Florida, but unlike the Japanese fish, they're mostly entirely toxic, with little to no safe meat to spare. So there's a greater risk of intoxication and fatalities from this fish in the US. Bird's Nest Soup For the past 400 years, Chinese cooking has been home to one of the most expensive delicacies in the world, bird's nest soup. Made from edible bird's nests, called the caviar of the east, bird's nest soup is extremely rare and extremely valuable. The main ingredient, the nest of the swiftlet bird, costs anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000 per kilogram, resulting in a single bowl of soup that'll set you back anywhere from $30 to $100. The hefty price tag comes from the dangerous and extensive process of procuring the nests and cleaning them so they're safe for consumption. The texture of the nest is soft like jelly, but it doesn't have much taste. The taste is not what keeps locals coming back each day for this soup, but it's the benefits that attract the Chinese. If the soup is consumed regularly, it's believed to help maintain youth and promote a healthy life and strong body. Cheddar Chomper Some customers prefer to try the food before buying it. Perhaps this rat is also checking the quality of cheddar cheese for purchasing it for his family. In 2019, Christopher Allison captured this scene while shopping in an Illinois store called Food for Less. He decided to record the activities of the little chomper. Even though Christopher took it lightly, the administration at Food for Less took immediate measures and announced that affected goods had been destroyed, whereas display racks were sanitized. Employee of the Month A Redditor narrated a food hygiene story and his shocking experience. He had worked as an assistant cook at an unspecified restaurant for two weeks. One day, he went to get tomato sauce out of the cupboard, where he came across a huge, scary tarantula. He reached out to his boss to make him aware of the eight-legged lodger. The boss claimed that he had kept the spider in the cupboard for warding off the rodents. Whatever the case, keeping a tarantula was against the code of hygiene. Strotaga Bianco Caviar is the most misunderstood delicacy. Let's understand it a little more. This is by far the most favourite food of most millionaires. We're not really talking about the red caviar or black caviar. 
Fish farmers all the way in Austria offer their customers a plate of caviar that costs $114,000 per kilogram. <laughs> it's the caviar that's choking me, guys, not the numbers. The Stratago Bianco is dehydrated caviar of the Siberian albino surgeon that's delicately sprinkled with edible gold leaf. As per the Fish Farm's website, to thoroughly enjoy this dish, you can only order it in advance since it's only prepared per order for each customer. The logic is that it's very difficult to make. Note the ingredients. Albino, Siberian, gold, surgeon. Those must be code words for expensive. You might think this idea came from a man who was a gazillionaire and was just trying to be a little too posh. You're wrong. This dish came from the ingenious minds of very common people. Walter Gruhl, 52, and his son Patrick. They justify the cost of the dish to be because of its great taste as well as beneficial properties from the combined ingredients. Gold leaf is a key ingredient because of its great effect on the immune system. Bullfrog In some parts of Africa, this cuisine is served as a delicacy, and as expected, it can kill you immediately after consuming it. The French bullfrogs too, but they only eat the legs of the frog and leave the body because it contains poisonous secretions. This poison can cause kidney failure and ultimately death, so be careful before you plan to try this one. Horse meat scandal in 2013, you might have heard about an infamous scandal regarding a grocery store being adulterated with horse meat. In certain parts of Europe, investigations indicated that in certain cases, almost 100% of the meat was found to be undeclared horse meat. In addition, it was also confirmed that some beef products actually contained pork. Ethically, it was a gross violation as some religious groups were made to eat food against their dietary requirements. It caused international outrage. The scandal affected every segment of society, from grocery stores to consumers, and from the meat industry to the vast economy. Investigators found out that a Dutch horse meat wholesaler, namely Willy Selton, was found guilty of forging invoices and labels. Resultantly, he succeeded in selling 300 tons of horse meat labeled as beef. Selton claimed that the horse meat he supplied was intended for pet food only, but somehow it was used for burgers. European governments promised to resort to stricter procedures requiring sellers and producers of meat to publish meaningful tests on their meat packing. As reported by BBC in 2015, Willie was sentenced to 2.5 years. Coffee Luwak The real coffee aficionados know for a fact that the taste of coffee changes based on the roasting specifications, the variety of the coffee, grinding, brewing as well as the weather patterns. Even the most loyal coffee lovers are not ready to try the Coffee Luwak coffee. Although this coffee is among the most expensive coffees in the world, the price is not the only thing that'll make you stay away. The retail price goes for $700 per kilogram. You might think that that's an arm and a leg just for some coffee beans. Not all millionaires are actually interested in trying out this coffee, and it's all because of how the coffee beans are processed. It's a little weird. This coffee is made from beans that have been ingested by an animal known as the Asian civet, the beans pass through the intestines of the animal and are expelled in its feces. This very delicate and grotesque process can take up to two weeks, whereby the beans are collected, washed and dried in the sun. This natural process is lengthy and quite expensive. Don't overthink how the beans travel through the tiny animal's intestines. The gastric juices and enzymes break down the protein compounds in the coffee and the result is that the coffee has a non-bitter taste. That said, some very unique flavours of the coffee emerge in the process, and this is what the coffee lovers are willing to pay the huge bucks for. Teriyaki Intruder Rodents love food a lot, and sometimes they themselves turn into food. In 2019, one day, Deyanira Cortez purchased a portion of teriyaki chicken for her daughter from the Ohio restaurant named Yihi Japan. She was quite disturbed to find that some of the chicken was baby rat, a friend of Dionera's found the intruder inside the teriyaki and rushed to the bathroom to vomit. This cooked rat was mixed into the pieces of chicken. Dionera's video went viral and resultantly the Japanese restaurant was inspected by health officials who closed it. The centipede and the scorpion We have a well-established procedure of washing fruits and vegetables before eating, but it's hard to believe that hygienic conditions of stuff grown outside. In 2019, an anonymous viewer posted a video related to Langsat food being visited by a centipede and scorpions. Surely none of us would like to eat this Langsat food. Probably the video belonged to the Philippines as Langsat food and scorpions are quite common there. Mukbuts 
In 2016, disgusting footage showing a McDonald's employee butt-handling while preparing food went viral. The customer captured the moment, although TikToker at Relicus has removed the clip, but in the original post captioned McNasty, we can see that the employee is having a good rummage around his bum. On being interrupted, he uses the same hand to pick and deliver the food to the customer. McDonald's showed their regret on this unhygienic behavior of their employee. Fast food Fast food isn't exactly healthy, with high quantities of sugar, salt, saturated fats, carbs, and calories. Most individuals are aware that eating fast food on a daily basis is connected to obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. Did you realize, though, that it's also harmful for your brain? According to a 2011 research published in the Public Health Nutrition Journal, those who consume fast food often are 51% more likely to be depressed. Although additional study is needed to determine exactly what creates this association, experts believe that consuming junk food has a lot of negative effects on our brains. Excessive intake of high-calorie foods, for example, has been shown to remodel the brain, resulting in poor impulse control and cravings, according to research from Western University in Ontario. This is due to the fact that consuming junk food causes the release of dopamine, which gives us a powerful feeling and a wonderful rush. If we have too many of these highs, our brain responds by diminishing the amount of dopamine receptors in our brain. To attain the same dopamine high, we must consume more junk food. Regular junk food eaters may get sad if they don't receive their junk food fix due to their increased tolerance. The best recommendation is to eat as little fast food as possible if you want to keep both your mind and your body in peak shape. Indian Street Food If you're a foreigner in India and the hunger pangs are hitting you stronger every minute, just head back to your hotel or go to a well-known bigger restaurant. Believe us, this one piece of advice will save you a lot of trouble, especially in your gut. Never eat at one of those street-side shops and food stands in places like Bombay or New Delhi if you want to avoid getting severe diarrhea or don't want to end up making your gut a home to parasites. You can see how poor the conditions are with these trailers set up in the hot weather in dirty, unclean places littered with garbage everywhere. Most of these dishes sold on the streets are very popular local specialties, but the way they're prepared will have you running for the mountains. It's common knowledge that the street food in India is almost always exposed to microbes and insects, especially flies. The vendors rarely ever use gloves to prepare and serve the food, the counters are untidy, the cutlery is washed with dirty water if it ever is. It's safe to say that most basic hygiene standards are blatantly ignored here. Now, you will say that the locals are eating and they're fine. Yes, but they've lived here and consumed this all their lives. Their bodies and immune systems have adapted to their locality, and they're not always fine. We understand it's hard to resist the appetizing vada pav or butter chicken from the streets, but it's better to miss out on some food than to spend your vacation traveling between your toilet and your bed. Processed meat I've got some bad news for you if you're a dedicated carnivore. Processed meat may taste great, but it comes with some serious health risks. The International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified any meat that has been modified to improve taste or shelf life, such as salami, bacon, or sausages, as a Group 1 carcinogen. That is, scientists are certain that eating processed meat raises your cancer risk based on numerous extensive studies. The issue stems from the manner in which processed meat is made. Nitrates and nitrites are used to extend the life of meat. Our bodies, on the other hand, turn them into nitrosamines when we ingest them. These can harm our DNA, increasing our chance of cancer over time. More of these hazardous substances are created when meat is cooked at high temperatures, such as over a barbecue, raising the danger even more. In fact, a study of half a million meat eaters in the United Kingdom discovered that eating 76 grams of red or processed meat per day, the equivalent of three slices of ham, increases your risk of bowel cancer by 20%. And while this does not imply that you must become a vegan, nutritionists agree that limiting your intake of processed meat is a healthy choice. Instead of bringing home the bacon, opt for something non-processed like free-range chicken, turkey, or even a meat-free option. Donkey cheese We all enjoy cheese from all kinds of animals. Some prefer it from goat's milk, others cow's milk, while others don't mind if it's from sheep milk. The only rare cheese that you've not heard of is donkey cheese. Donkey byproducts don't sound mouth-watering. Say hello to the rare Balkan donkey milk cheese, which is only found in one place in Slobodan Simex Nature Reserve, and it costs more than $1,000 per kilo. The name for this cheese is Puli, 
and it consists of 60% donkey milk and 40% goat milk. It's the most expensive cheese worldwide. The price doesn't seem that high when you find out that it takes 25 litres of donkey milk to produce a kilogram of cheese. Donkey milk has little casein, which is a protein that's a binder in the whole cheese production. Donkey milk doesn't come cheap either. A litre goes for $70. Most of the customers of these products are lactose intolerant individuals, as well as people who have tons of money and want to take care of their health. Donkey milk, like the cheese, is said to be a cure for a myriad of diseases, some of which are asthma and bronchitis. The ugly secret behind street food in the third world. There's no denying that street food has gained a lot of popularity over the years, especially because of the flourishing tourism industry, food tourism shows and social media influencers trying to hype up small vendors selling on street sides. But did you know that behind the glitz and glamour of these delicious dishes lie horrifyingly unhygienic practices? And in third world countries, most people aren't even trying to provide clean food. If you saw what goes on behind the scene of these open-air stalls, there'll be some major regrets regarding that yummy snack you had in the streets of Mumbai. As you can witness, scenes like this man kneading the dough with his bare feet are irregular in the poverty-struck nations. The beautiful and fresh-looking vegetables you see being used in the making of these foods are probably washed with sewer water, and if you saw how dirty and sweaty the hands that kneaded this bread on the screen were, you'd probably throw up. It's not just the cooking practices and dirty surroundings that contribute to the filthy nature of this food, but also the body hygiene of the people making it is equally nasty. So it's better to just watch National Geographic or TLC travel show hosts trying out these exotic foods rather than enjoying them yourself and ending up in the hospital with diseases like cholera, typhoid or gastroenteritis. The Indian Flatbread Who doesn't like crisp and freshly baked Indian bread with their saucy lentils and curry sauce? This bread is a staple around the subcontinent and is being consumed on a daily basis by people in streets and homes. Its gastronomic supremacy in India is unchallenged. You all must be aware of some of these baking specialties of South Asia, like the paratha or naan. But were you also aware that in a lot of places the dough for this bread is kneaded in dreadfully unhygienic ways? Just like the one being done in this video, you see. Look at how this baker kneads this dough using his bare feet, and that too on the dirty, bare floor. The filth in the place and on the person's feet is visible from far away. This dough once kneaded will be flavoured with a special spice to induce the legendary flavour after which it's cut into pieces and loaded in the oven to be baked and served to unsuspecting customers. We don't think there's any need to say more about this. Just avoid this flatbread. That's all for today. We know you guys are going to have a hard time sleeping after watching this video, but aren't you glad you found out about these horrifying practices and now you can quit eating those unhygienic things? Tell us in the comments which one of these made you throw up. For more awesome and entertaining content, keep following our channel. See you all next time.